Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna go home first and probably sleep. So we're gonna go all the way back down here and sleep. And then I think I might go over land, over to here. Like, by over land I mean on foot. Over to here and collect this RV that was over here, that was um, functional. But I was in the solar car when I was down there, so I didn't want to lose the solar car to move it. So we might go collect this RV and bring it back. I think those are probably the first two things we're going to do. So let's get started with that. Alright. Turn around here. There we go. Let's uh, zoom out. Put a little bit of speed on here. I don't want to go too fast. Spot of survive. Oh, right, I forgot about this lady. She's just hanging out there. She's got a gun. I'm going to just really put on the speed here. And we're going to just see if we can just cruise past her without her shooting at me. There we go. So what does that say? You hear her say, is this Reno? Because I need to watch you die, you blank. Hang on, folks. All right, I'm back. So she took a shot at us, but she missed. So we don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to cruise past here. Should probably just turn off safe mode while we're cruising by because... There we go. So, then we need to go this way. Ooh, there's a lot of, a lot of distance between each click there right now. <laughs> of the speed that we're traveling. Hopefully we, our battery doesn't run out. It's one of the, part of the reason I, move, I was going kind of slowly before was is that I was worried that the faster we travel, the more... more strain on the, um... The battery. Oh, there's a moose. Where's the moose? Oh, he's over there. I see him. Um, yes, let's slow way down here. And go this way. <laughs> Through the field. Zoom in a little bit so we try not to run over too many uh, bushes. There's the other turret. Oh, we're awfully close here. Um, I don't really like this. Ugh, we're just gonna hope that it doesn't shoot at us. Alright, we're okay. Woo, okay. <laughs> it's closer than I meant to be. Alright, if we can, can, I'd prefer to go this side. Oh, oh, we hit it. Nope, oh, level out. There we go. All right, I think we should be able to drive. Yeah, just straight down like this. Okay, we're good. Alright, so there's nothing of danger between here and home, so we can accelerate a little bit here. I mean, there might be some zombies, but there's no turrets or large-scale vehicles that are in our way. Oh, just a giant wasp. Yep, there's that. Wish I could figure out what that was so we could just delete it. I think it's I think it might be that pe that bit of water that's right outside the base. But I don't know how you deal with that, so 
We don't have a mop. I think that's probably what you need, right? It's like a mop. This is probably this liquid right here. Or if not that one, one of these other ones down here. It's a couple of little pools around that we've we've made messes of. Alright, so we are home. Which should be basically the way it was when we left, because, you know, time kind of stops when you're. This pancake. Eat all that pancake. Alright, so let's get all of the stuff out of here. I think we want to take everything out of here. Uh, looks like it. Yes, yes. Oh, not the button I want. There you go. Grab that. Nope. Grab that. I'll haul everything in here. Unhaul. I am, however, going to grab the um, stuff that is car related. So we got the settling torch, the air jack, these solar panels. I think that's it. Yeah, that seems to be it. Alright. Grab these. Pull these out here. Stop hauling. Just leave those there for now. Shift owing everything. Get it all sorted away here. Alright. So, he's tired, but he's not super tired. Wondering if we should do this. It's a bit of a walk, because we have to get all the way down. All the way down to here. But it should be safe, because we've been there before. Let me drop some things off here. Don't need this. Need the antibiotics, or the, or like, seven of the bandages. Oh, we should look at the books. We have like a couple books we found. If nothing else. So that would bring our mechanic skill to three. Which our mechanic skill is currently at four, so that's not very helpful. Um, probably has, yeah, it's got stuff in it. Archery to three. Our archery is at one right now, so that's helpful. Also has bow recipes, which is excellent, because that's what we really want is better bows. Let's actually see here. If I wanted to make Alright, we can we as of right this minute we can make a long bow. Which would be an immediate improvement over the self bow. Where's the recurve bow? Is that not showing up because we don't know? Because we're not strong enough to build it? I think it should be there. Make sure we're close enough to the book. No, for some reason it's not there. Maybe we just don't know, we're not good enough to build it yet. Bow dampening kit. A set of simple pads and strips of fur or rubber with adhesive backing designed to stick on the limbs and string of the bow to absorb vibration. Substantially reduces noise during firing and helps with accuracy. Well, let's make a long bow. 
We failed to make a longbow. Let's try again. Did we fail again? I'm kind of confused. And now we don't have the materials for it. We wasted too many strings. Oh well. Self bow's getting by right now. We'll, we'll make a long bow eventually. Yeah. Alright, so let me drop these books off. String we can drop off right now. Where's the... Where am I... Where did I put tools? Is this tools? I need my hammer back. So I unfortunately put the hammer down somewhere. As we discovered last time. This looks like tools. Let's do this. Um, this way. This will be our inventory. Hammer. There it is. Whoops. So you have to press enter. There we go. Boom. And then clear it because it stays. There we go. Is this also where our umbrella would have ended up? See it there. Hmm. Well, let me shift over real quick. Just to sort things out. If it qualifies as a weapon or not. Because it's raining, so I kind of want to take the umbrella with us. Let's see. Let's find um, umbrella. There it is. Alright. Oh, I need to clean my filter. There we go. Alright, let's go for a walk. Do I have to activate this thing or is it already activated? Doesn't look like we have to activate it. Just wanted to make sure though. Alright, one more check. Carrying anything extra we don't need right now. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Tried to activate it, it won't let me. Alright, so we're gonna go over on foot across to go get that RV that I saw a long time on the in the lost episode. That's where it is, in case you're wondering why you don't remember that. It was in the last episode. No. Alright, almost there. What was that? Just a plastic bottle. Alright, so we'll make it into the street. We'll just go down the street. Of course, the umbrella, um, the fire, the rain stops as soon as we uh, have our umbrella out. That's where I got all those clothes that we were wearing before. Oh, right, ants. Go across the field to try and avoid the ants as much as possible. What is that? Oh, possum. No. Alright, we're here. I actually need to go this way. Now, I'm hoping there aren't any zombies along this way that I forgot about. There's a black rat. 
a zombie soldier who is in the bushes. Wonder why they're up there in those bushes. We're gonna try and not mess with those guys if we can avoid it. I think they're trying to fight that rat that's up in the in the um, in the bushes as well. That's what I think they're doing. Oh, well, rain's starting again. So this is close to bad stuff, so we need to be concerned about that. Nope, not quite. There we go. Right when he grabbed me. So here's the RV. That hopefully I remembered correctly is actually working. <laughs> that would be bad otherwise. RV starts up. Please, thank you. Going a little bit faster. So this RV, unlike the well, I mean the first, we'll have to like sort of compare RVs and see which one actually we actually think is worthwhile. Uh, I guess we should just go across the field. Be easier. To slow down a little bit though. Oh, that is a minefield. Well, that was almost tragic. <laughs> Let's back up here. Alright, I take that back. We're gonna go, we're just gonna have to deal with trying to, trying to avoid, um, the ants. Because I don't want to deal with the other stuff. This is the derelict building. That was a lot of lemmings. Newspaper corch corpse. Alright, so gotta get closer because we got a lot of stuff we have to pay attention to. So there's only one ant here that is uh, pissed off. And I think I might stop, just because I, I would kind of like to see what is going on in this. Uh, turn off the fridge. It's a waste of power. See if what, what if anything is happening in this derelict building that would be useful for us. Last bottle. I guess we can take those as long as we got the space for them. I'm sure they'll come in useful in the future. I need that. Take down the brazier. Absolutely take that. Yeah. Just a flyer. Blood soaked rag. It's not almost an ominous at all. Ooh, stairs down. Things just got more interesting. A 
really want to have to fight all these ants, but we'll see. Run. Alright, we'll, we need our machete. This is not working. <laughs> Drop it for the moment. Man, that th thing took some hits. Nothing there. So I always like to check behind these things. Am I still running? I am. Eat. Let's eat that cooked meat real quick. Just to get a little bit of food. It's an arrow I missed. Alright, let's see what's downstairs. That didn't sound great. Um, I don't like the fact that this door, I can't peek through it. What am I looking at? Abraham the merchant? Who is currently ignoring me? He killed an ant? Okay. Oh, here's one thing we can do. Deposit all of our money. Withdraw money. So that puts every all the money on one uh, card, which is nice. Young jug of bleach. So I guess he lives down here. Shotguns, the art and science. See, I don't know if this I don't know if that thing belongs to him or not. I'm kind of afraid that it might. Um, how do I talk? Never actually interacted with, uh, <laughs> with an NPC before. I don't know how to talk. Chat with NPC. C. He says, Hey, yes, Gav. Um, did you build this place? No, no. Well, maybe a little. It was just a. It was just as wrecked down here as it is up top when I found it. it wasn't too hard fixing up. You're welcome to stay in the spare room a while. Just don't hog it. Not the only scav out there. Okay. Can I size him up? Can I look at him? Got some good stuff on. Okay. What does he think of me? Doesn't care about me. Alright. Interesting. Who are you? Uh, just a scav who got lucky. Now I'm content to sit around here on my pile of treasure. More than willing to trade if you got cash. Why do you still use cash? Why not? Everyone else does, so I suppose that's all that matters. My ATM over there still works, connected to the bank servers and everything. So you're a trader? I suppose I am. Scavs like you need supplies, right? And I could always use more money. Alright. Do you need help with anything? No, not at the moment. Check back later. Alright. Uh, I need supplies. What are you selling? So he's got a lighter. Some 9x19mm JHP rounds. Cargo shorts, leather pants, knee-high boots, signal receiver. I don't actually need any of this. Thank you, though. Bye. I wonder if he'd get pissed off if I tried to unlock this door. Let's do a quick butcher.
Alright, I'm gonna assume he won't care if I take that that uh, that book. Shotguns to level three. Some basic recipes. Drop some stuff here. If I drop these two glass bottles, can I fit these chunks of meat? Yes. And take one bottle. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and see how he feels about this. Cannot be picked. Okay. Well, this is an interesting find. Definitely not what I thought I was gonna find down here. Let's, uh, let's put a note here. Uh, traitor. Oh, you know what we can also do is remove this note. Because this RV is not there anymore. How do you remove a note? D. Yes. I don't really want to fight you, Mr. Ant. If I go this way, will you leave me alone? Now we have to try and drive past all the various ant bits. So many ants. Safe mode off. Can't deal with people constantly telling me about ants that are around. I think we might be more or less clear of the ants now. Can I bring my rubber hose? No, so we can't we can't uh, siphon any gas right now. Look at us obeying the traffic laws, driving on our proper side of the road. Alright, so we're gonna get back and drink some water, because he's extremely thirsty, and go to sleep. And then we're gonna look at what kind of things we can do with our. Um, with our acetylene torch that we found. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, let's turn that off. Oh, apparently there's an angry beaver around. Uh, have a drink. So we got some water in here. So this thing has a little bit of water. It's basically out of gasoline. We just basically used it all up driving here. It has 0.4 liters. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a mini fridge, kitchen unit, bed. Not in great shape, but pretty good shape. Engine has a faulty water pump. Okay. 
Alright, so these guys are just, these solar panels are just gone, right? If you wanted to repair them, you would need a solar panel to replace it. So if we wanted to remove this, just so that they're not holes there anymore, we could replace them with, what is that? Solar cells. Oh, we got some solar cells out of the deal. Nice. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna guess we don't have the skill to actually make solar panels yet. But that is a thing. Let's just close this door. Right, let's drink some water. Let's drink another thing of water. All right, so sleep. Yes, sleep. Don't set an alarm. Who knows? I have no idea how long we're going to sleep. I imagine we'll wake up sometime in the middle of the night. Which is less than great, but we'll deal with it. You wake up. It's 2.38 in the morning, yep. Have a drink of water. Let's eat this meat. Eat it again. <clears throat> no, don't save and quit. Alright, let's drop this and this and this. Alright, all sorted. So there's a new, there's a mechanic that's been added to the game that I've been being told about, which is workbenches, which is supposed to help with crafting. I don't think that it's actually a workbench, so to speak, so much as it's just having a table nearby. Bench. Yeah. There's not like a workbench of, of any variety. So we basically just need to have a table adjacent to us. Which I don't think we have the ability to um, haul this. Oh, I can grab bits of it. Okay. So what is here? This is like a lot of. So I just grabbed this and pulled it here. In theory, that's adjacent to us, and we can do workbench stuff there. I think, if I'm understanding this whole process correctly. Stop. Alright, so what is going on? We just have a badly burnt log, okay. Not the long stick. Start a fire. So we're having trouble with the longbow because both of our fabrication and archery skills are too low, I believe is what's going on there. We're at two and three respectively. Fabrication's at two. Our trees at two. I don't think we have a book that levels up fabrication. Wooden spear. Kind of want to see what we have available right now. Uh, cooked meat probably is one of the things we need to do. 
since we're here. Really, that fire went out that fast? Needs more fuel. Okay. Cylinder wood's not very good, I don't think, for this, but it's not usable for much else either, so. for about 11 minutes. How long will it take us to cook meat? Can't find cooked meat. Where is it? Did we actually um, successfully cook the meat? In progress cooked meat. Okay. So we got it to 27% before the fire went out. It's interesting. So this, I do think this water is causing us problems. I shouldn't have thrown it in the in the thing. Something I can do about it now without a mop or a broom or something. But well, I suppose we could do this. Twenty seven minutes. All right. Let's see if we can do that now. There we go. Get some cooked meat. Burn for less than two hours. Okay. That should be plenty of time. So if we can pull it off, it would take. 15 minutes. But we need to probably level up things first. Electronics, mechanics, survival and cooking, cooking, fabrication, joint. What is this for? Oh, like a like a smoking joint. <laughs> I was thinking like a like a joint in a piece of machinery. Back holster, ankle sheath. Oh, we can make quivers now. Thread, two leather patches, takes 10 minutes. Yeah, let's make a quiver. I'll use the sinew, we got a lot more of that. Arms, legs, hands. Towel. Beaded bracelet takes fabrication. Alright, that's so we need we need something that levels up fabrication. Which I think might be What's this? Sharpened piece of charcoal that's almost guaranteed to handle all hands all covered in charcoal. Used to write something down. Technically works at fabrication. The ones that are two of two are like the ideal, I think, because they... We've got a crack pipe, is what we need. Alright, let me make one survival marker. What are we at with fabrication? We're at 33%.
Hmm. So I think I think most of this stuff is where fabrication is going to come into play. Fabrication there. The board up the windows is all fabrication work. Tape up windows. This is all fabrication. Fence posts. Fence gate. Build a bookcase. I wonder if deconstruct. Butchering rack, which is actually something we would like to have, but we don't have survival skill for it yet. Uh, hang on a second, guys. Alright, I'm back. Okay, let's see. Pillow fort. <laughs> Technically it takes fabrication skill. Okay, deconstruct furniture is a fabrication skill, but it's a zero, so I imagine we're not getting any skill up from that anymore. This is just showing me things I know how to make. Smoking rack. Hmm. Can I deconstruct these in the dark? Yes, yes I can. All right, I wanna see if that's giving us any fabrication skills. So we're at 33%. I don't think it is. Still at 33%, yeah. I mean, we don't need all these chairs, so I don't really feel bad about deconstructing them, but... It's also not giving us any skill, so... Build a crate. What's inside? Looking at... So the blue ones, I guess the blue ones are the ones that are actually going to give us um, skill. So we took a chair apart, now I can put it back together. Forty-three percent. So that gave us ten percent skill up. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna build some chairs, take them apart, build some chairs, take them apart. And now the sun is starting to come up. We're at 64%. Okay. So now I can deconstruct this furniture. Can't deconstruct the chair that I made? Oh, there we go. I guess I was sitting in it, which is why I couldn't deconstruct it. Still at 64%. Okay. Hmm. This always feels a little silly. So whatever works, right? Nothing else here that I need. Chairs are a little, I mean, stools are a little bit faster. Take the same material, so let's do it because it's a little bit faster, huh? Just do there. Why is this suddenly so small? Did 
That was weird. Eighty-two percent. All right, we're almost there. Oh, I don't think these are giving quite as much uh, skill. Ninety-two. All right, we need just need one more, or yeah, one more chair. Hey, there we go. All right, so that should, in theory, make the longbow something that we have a better chance of making. Archery is still not great. Failed to make it, but you don't waste any ingredients. Hey, we did it. All right. So let's drop our self-bow off. Don't need that anymore. Where our quiver, and we'll wear our longbow. So where does the quiver go on the body? Compression swords, no. It's on your right leg. Can I swap them? How do I swap them? Seems like you should be able to swap them. Change the size. C. Okay. C. Yes. There we go. Now they're not. In oh no, we still have that. We have that holster now. <laughs> I suppose we can remove the holster altogether, because it's not like we're, um... Not like we have any ammo for this gun anyways. Where are you, holster? Now the only double encumbrance is the backpack, yeah, longbow. Cool. All right, so let's let me wield my umbrella. It's raining. Grab all this. Bring it over here. This one still continues to look like it's in better shape. So we're gonna we're gonna work on this guy. Glare protection. Oh, glare protection, that's right. I actually have... I have welding goggles, but they're filthy. Do we have any detergent? I know we've seen detergent, but I'm not actually sure I've ever gotten any detergent. This we'll do a round detergent. Nope. We do have soap though, somewhere. I know I saw soap earlier. Why did I leave the sig here? I'm sure I had a reason, but I don't remember what it was now. stuff off here. I'm still carrying the brazier around. <laughs> also, I haven't filled, put anything in my quiver yet. So, altogether, I'm just really winning at stuff right now. Stone hammer. Rent. No, I'm going to hold on to the wrench. I'm going to need one of those. Don't need any of these.
quiver, quiver, quiver. All right. Do I just have to have them, or do I have to wear them? Let's let's find out. Nope, just have to have them. All right, so we can repair some things now. Alternator. Let's repair that. Oh, I can compare the repair the battery. Hang on, can I repair the battery on this thing? Mechanic 7. Repair the motor. Where are the batteries? Yep. That's great. That means that the... Um, the thing will actually hold a charge instead of losing its charge all the time. So... Correct me if I'm wrong. The solar panels charge the storage batteries, but won't charge a car battery. Right? This thing should have a storage battery somewhere in it. There it is. I did, I'm going to remove, right now we're going to remove this backup beeper. <laughs> I don't want it making noise when it backs up. I did repair this, the regular battery for this guy, right? No. Settling torch, oh we only used like half of its charges, nice. Tailoring, fabrication. Sweet mosquito. Alright, so let me, um, it's obviously, I think it's only going to affect the storage battery. Let me go and install the solar panel. You slowly recharge the vehicle's electrical power when exposed to the sun. Clouds is the slowly BM. Put the one on the other side. Here we go. So now, yeah, 0.7% an hour, five days until full charge. So now at least the storage battery should be taking a charge yes yes giant mosquito I know Looking for what am I looking for in this one? I had a thought. I came over here for a reason. Oh, I was gonna look at the engine. I don't think I can remove the engine, right? Yeah, it needs a tool of lifting. It'd be nice to swap out their engines.
They still have one solar panel here. I'm gonna put it in this guy. Uh, install solar panel. Can't repair the solar panels. I'm gonna repair the frames a little bit. I'll run out of charges here pretty soon, probably. 60 charges left. Right. We take the ones that look like they're in the worst shape here. Oh, there it is. Out of charges. Two percent battery. Storage battery is going up. Looks like maybe the car battery is going up as well. That's kind of hard to tell. Do you have gasoline? I forget now if I have the gasoline in here or not. Six of a liter. All right. Let me get some. Um, Get batteries first. I want these two bottles of gasoline. Thought this is where the batteries were. I mean, there's plutonium cells. It seems like where the battery. There they are. Um, I need my hose too. That's our hose. All right, so oh, hang on. So, reload. 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 Isn't the key for reloading R? I could have sworn R was reload. Reload wielded items. Reload unload or empty welded item. So how do you reload item? Oh, it's unbound. Okay. Zero. R. Alright, well, well, all right. we're just going to work with this here. Let me get some space here. And we'll pick the settling torch up so that I can put batteries in it. Reload. Still not working. It's not doing anything. Well, whatever. Reload item. Welding gas? I need welding gas? I thought this took batteries. I guess that's dumb of me. Why did I think it took batteries? I don't know why I thought it took batteries. <laughs> There's no reason I should have thought it took batteries. So this guy, the one thing I wish we had done was check on the 
the tanks before we did everything else. Yeah, see, that vehicle tank is not great, Bill. Siphon. Uh, fill. Siphon. Is that it? We get it all? We got it all. Okay. Fill. There we go. Alright, so now it has gas. Has three percent gasoline. A little bit of battery power. This engine is still messed up. We need to keep an eye out for a fuel pump, I guess. Or what did that say? Mend. Faulty water pump. Okay, so we need a water pump. I feel like over here on the bridge. Somewhere on the bridge, there's, I think, a, a loose engine that we might be able to take apart. But I think that's about it for today, so I'm going to stop here, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.